Hi, I'm Taylor Kutra and I'm an astronomer at the University of Toronto. I study how planets form from the protoplanetary disk. I didn't really have one of those aha moments like a lot of other people. When I was in high school, I applied to mostly programs in um, biology and virology. I wanted to work in like a lab and uh, make vaccines and work with viruses. But then instead I decided to do more of a general undergraduate degree and it was when I got there that I started to meet some like really great advisors and mentors who kind of changed everything for me. I had this advisor in my first year who when I met with them um, he told me that I was good at math and asked me if I like it and I said yeah I do I've always enjoyed it. And so he encouraged me to sign up for a, a third year math course and to try out the astrophysics course in the spring. I had never done physics in high school because I thought it was too hard, but I did this math course and I did this astrophysics course and I was sold. And from then on, really, I've just kept doing things that I've enjoyed doing and all of those little decisions just kept bringing me back to astronomy. When I was graduating high school, I didn't really know anyone in my family who had experience with higher education. I'm the first person in my family to do a PhD, so a lot of the time it just felt like muddling through things. I didn't really know how to write applications, I didn't know how to write grant proposals, nor did I know how to get like a research job. But leaning on these wonderful like mentors and advisors that I had really helped me out. They gave me great advice and they pushed me to try new things and to work hard and I'm really thankful for that. So the piece of advice that I got that probably changed my life the most came when I was sitting at the end of my third year in my supervisor's office and we were talking about research, but then he asked me um, if I was thinking about applying to graduate school that fall. And I told him that I was interested, but I you know, had taken on a fair amount of debt during my undergrad, and I would need a couple of years at least to pay that off before I thought about taking on any more uh, for graduate school. And he looked at me and he goes, oh, kind of shocked. You don't know, do you? And I said, what? And he goes, you get paid to do graduate school in astronomy. <laughs> so yeah, that probably changed my life the most. So yeah, you do in fact get paid to do graduate school in most science, technology, engineering, and math disciplines. Um, so if you're out there and you're thinking about grad school but not sh sure how affordable or attainable it is, it might be easier than you think. My dream right now is to teach physics and astronomy at a small liberal arts university, kind of like the one that I went to, but I also wouldn't be surprised if I ended up in a career in astronomy outreach and maybe the outdoors. But of course before that there's a lot of steps. I want to publish more papers, I want to mentor undergraduate students, and I want to continue making my department a more welcoming place. <laughs>